So I never thought the day would come where I would get rid of my body hair on camera, but here we are. <laughs> Today I wanted to share with you guys how I've been doing my laser hair removal at home. Now, quick disclaimer, IPL is not the same as laser removal. It's not the same technology that they use in laser removal centers, but it does the exact same thing. And I'm going to explain some other things to you, but I have to start off by making the disclaimer that I am not a healthcare professional. So please, if you're considering doing this, do your research and read up on the equipment that you're planning on using, but also maybe ask your doctor, especially if you have any skin issues or something like that. Now that we're over the disclaimer, I have been using now for I think six weeks. Yeah, I think this is week six or seven. My um, IPL hair removal machine and I've chosen the brown one. It's the Silk Expert and this video is not sponsored by the way, but I'll leave a link down below. Um, I've been loving my experience with this one and I can speak for some others, but I do know that there's some great reviews out there for the Philips Lumia, which I will also leave linked down below. I don't know if the price difference is very big, but I initially decided to get laser hair removal because I live in a pretty warm country. I live in Portugal and I've always been someone who went and waxed and I'm used to the pain of waxing, but not only did it get expensive, but it was also pretty annoying because, for example, if I had a little bit of stubble growing, I couldn't go wax yet because it wasn't long enough, but I also couldn't, like, shave. Um, so there was, like, always those in-between points where you're waiting for the hair to grow back where it's long enough for you to wax. But it's inconvenient, and I looked into getting my hair uh, removed in a clinic, but it's freaking expensive. The most, like inexpensive one I found was like a hundred euros for your full legs and you have to go like multiple times I think like once a month so this one I think cost me around 500 euros but it's a one-time cost and it literally is supposed to last you a lifetime so I figured this was worth the investment it is pricey but I just I don't know I just thought that if I was going to be spending that much money I much rather have my own machine and do it at home and like watch Netflix. Let's start with some pros and cons. A pro is definitely that it's working. Like I've seen incredible results and like I'm like, I have really dark hair. This is my natural hair color and pretty fair skin. And uh, Brown basically has a little chart. I'm gonna try to find it and put it right here for you guys. That lets you know the ideal skin tone and hair color for this. They put a limit after a certain skin tone. Like if you're too dark, then it won't work for you or if your hair is too light like if you're too blonde and i know that i think red hair was also something that you couldn't do and the reason for this is because it's a light treatment that targets your hair follicles and your actual hairs and the bigger the contrast between your hair follicle and your skin the more likely and more effective it is so for me it works really nicely because the contrast between my skin color and my hair is pretty huge. Another important disclaimer is that you're not really supposed to be doing IPL treatments over like tanned skin or broken skin. So if you're thinking about getting this done so that in the summer you can have less body hair, then you're going to want to start this in the fall winter. And the way this works, and I'm going to show you guys the app, is that for the first 12 weeks, they recommend that you do the treatment once a week. So they have an app that you can use to help you track your treatments. And for example, if I go here onto plan and track then it'll tell me like when I have to do my next treatment so for example I just did mine so I'm going to mark it as done and then it tells me that my next session will be on the 26th of April arms underarms legs and bikini zone those are the areas that I'm doing right now you can also do your face so long as it's under this area but I personally just prefer to wax I use those little at-home wax strips for there I don't know what it is, but I kind of like it that it's like not up all in my face. So I do my legs, my whole legs, I do my bikini line, and I do my underarms and my arms, but only till here. I never really was someone to wax or shave my arms because my arm hairs are not that dark, but I figured if I have it, why not do it? So now they're super soft and I really like it. So before you do anything else and before you start, you're going to have to get rid of your hair using your traditional method. 
I used to wax, but I've decided that for the purpose of just it being easier and me not spending more money than I have to, that I'm just shaving. So you can either shave the night before or a few moments after. It's really important that you make sure to shave with shaving cream um, so as to not irritate your skin because you're not going to want to be doing IPL over irritated skin, if that makes sense. And then after you've showered and shaved, you don't really have to shower, but after you've shaved, um, then you can start. So what I wanted to do is kind of run you guys through how it works and what I do. And essentially, um, when you take out the machine from its little bag, you'll see that it has this little center on the side. And this center essentially is what drove me to buy this one over the Philips one. And it's because it reads your skin as you go super, super fast. And so it allows you to do the treatment in one gliding movement. So you press the button down once and you sort of glide it up your leg and it just keeps on flashing light without you having to do like what's called the stamping method, which is one at a time. I use the stamping method for difficult areas like around my knees and my bikini zone, but for my legs or my arms I usually do the glide motion. Now the fun thing about this is that this sensor won't let the flash go off if it doesn't feel like the right amount of contact on skin. So for example, you could never accidentally flash yourself in the eyes or something like that because if it's not tightly on the skin then it won't activate. And what I like to do is I like to just lay in my bed, I like to put on a show, and the one thing that I find is that I have to stay a little bit focused or else I forget like the areas I've been over. And you're not really supposed to like overdo it. So I usually start with my legs and I'll do my legs on three or the maximum sort of power and I'll show you guys how that works. So once you have the machine all set up, you're going to want to just make sure that it's on. So it should have you can hear it, it makes this like little wind sound and it's just the fan working so that it doesn't overheat. The best thing about that is that not only is it super fast, but it's pretty much painless. I'm used to waxing, so like if you're used to the pain of waxing, this is literally nothing. If you're someone who shaves, I've seen other people describe it and I would agree as like sometimes you'll feel like you have a little elastic band snapping at you kind of pain when the flash goes off. But honestly, it's really super rare for me. Um, I find that the areas where I was sensitive during waxing are also the areas where I'm a little bit more sensitive with IPL. And what you can do if it's giving you that snapping sensation is lower the intensity of it to two. And for example, in my bikini area, I can only use the second intensity because I just, it's a little bit painful for me with the first one. I heard a lot of people say this too, but under my arms and everywhere else, I use the full power. What you do basically is that you do this over the course of 12 weeks once a week, and then basically you're only supposed to have to do touch-ups once a month or as you see patches growing, but over time, it's supposed to make it so that you rarely ever have to do it again. I also never thought I'd do this, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like doing your underarms and your bikini zone because all the other videos that I saw while I was doing research didn't show this. For my bikini line, I just sort of put on bikini bottoms and that's what you want to do because you want to make sure that you're only staying like outside your bikini bottom areas. Like you don't want to be doing anywhere where the skin might be a darker shade because again, it might not work as efficiently and also they don't recommend it. So don't be IPLing your privates without asking for um, doctor's advice first. 
and I personally just sort of do anything that would show over my bikini so I will lift a little bit and sort of do the inner areas but I'm not going to do that on camera and then for my underarms it just is pretty much done in like six stamping clips it's super easy and super fast as you can see this is the part that you guys are probably waiting for does it work so as I said I'm on week six and I've already seen such a, such a difference and I wanted to include pictures so that you guys could see exactly how different it is and these pictures were taken so this first picture I can't believe I'm putting my hairy armpit on the internet but here we are this first picture was just my armpit hair one week after um, shaving so if I shaved and waited a week this is how much hair I would have again my hair is really thick and really dark so I couldn't really go like more than two days without shaving and this is what it looks like four weeks into IPL once a week and again like I said after a while you're able to just shift over to doing it once a month but as you can see with this picture here um, it's growing back in patches now so only very few specific parts of my hair is growing back and I've noticed already a little bit later than that picture was taken that it's so much less now and honestly guys it's crazy and the biggest thing that I'm super happy about is with my legs Literally, nothing grows back now except for like tiny little hairs here and there and that's it and this is only like six weeks in so it's <laughs> like I can't tell you guys I used to get all those like strawberry bumps I think they're called where wherever I shaved there would have like little black dots everywhere and now my legs are just I'm gonna show you guys again but just super smooth and soft and there's not really like any bumps at all even though it was a huge splurge like 100% recommended at least if you have the same type of skin tone as me and if you have the same type of hair color as me then chances are it's probably going to work really well for you I can't speak for anyone else obviously because not my experience but yeah none of this is sponsored like I said I'm not getting paid at all if you decide on getting one of these and you're interested in like purchasing them through Amazon if you use my links below I get a commission so if you like my channel you like me and you want to just give your girl some uh, support <laughs> then go ahead and use those links that's pretty much it I don't think there's anything else really to say yeah just remember that timing is really important so for example I started at the perfect time because I think it was like end of like beginning of March, end of February, but if I were to start right now, it would be a little bit too late because it's already super sunny here and I would probably start tanning before I could finish the full treatment. So it is really important that you do it like on time. So if you do it on Mondays, like I do, then you have to do it every Monday. I mean, I guess you could wait on to Tuesday, but like for best results, you're really supposed to do it like according to your plan and schedule but then again the app makes it super easy for you not to forget and for you to track everything so that really helps out I hope this video is useful and helps some of you out if it is just let me know in the comments and uh, you can always subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comments for me down below I'll do my best to answer them again I'm not an expert but I'll definitely try to help you out and yeah I hope to see you guys in my next video